What's good, you guys? You know who it is, man. It's your boy, Mr. Relentless Lex, and I'm back like I never left this mother. Yes, Sersky. All right, so, man, we got Cat Williams. Blasts Tyler Perry for torturing Shannon Sharp's show and career. Now, we all know Tyler Perry keeps some kind of tricks and things up his sleeves. I think he's a very selfish person, and he need to change some of his ways. From the, the videos I've been seeing lately about him and the things that people have been saying about how he is in Tyler Perry Studios and how he act, bro, they make him seem to be like he's a monster at his studios. But we're going to check this video out. Spicy. Starting to face an insane amount of criticism over his show. And there are rumors that some very powerful people in the industry are trying to force him out. Girl, we all saw this coming from a mile off because this man has been spilling an insane amount of tea on celebs. And y'all know that these celebs hate it when their crazy secrets get exposed. But Shannon isn't fighting alone because his good friend, Cat Williams, seems to be standing 10 toes down with him and defending him against the haters. It's not surprising that Cat would defend Shannon like this because he He's the one who started spilling some wild tea on celebs to start with. And I'm willing to bet that these celebs are furious at Kat as well. So what exactly is going on between Shannon and these celebrities? Does he have more dirt on them? And why on earth are some people saying that Tyler Perry is the one trying to kill Shannon's career in his show? Let's talk about this. Child, I don't even think that Cat Williams himself thought that things were going to be this chaotic when he sat down on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast in January. The moment the podcast dropped, social media was a hot chaotic mess because Cat aired out so much dirty laundry that the internet stank for weak. Child, it's been more than six months since then, and it doesn't look like things are going to change anytime soon. Not only has Kat's interview been viewed more than 70 million times, but he also paved the way for other celebs to come on the show and speak their truth. Like Monique, whose interview has been viewed more than 15 million times. Between Kat and Monique, they exposed so many celebs and showed us how messy the industry really was. You can bet that it didn't go down well with the celebs and they had a lot to say about the situation. For example, Dave Chappelle accused Kat and Shannon for trying to bring down black artists saying, what part of the game is this? He ethered ninjas. He didn't say anything about any of those white boys. None of these white boys function like that. Kat is one of the best painters in the game. So why are you drawing ugly pictures of us? Stop. Hurt people hurt people, but I am a hurt person that never hurt people, and he does it all the time. He also accused them of trying to ruin the livelihoods of his fellow black men, and he said, if I told my story, it would break your heart. I lost everything and never ever told on anybody, and he is acting like the arbiter of truth. Cat, listen, I F with Cat hard, but D-Ray, tell me, what part of the game Fs up another ninja's paper? What part of the game is about telling on another ninja? D.L. Hughley also spoke up and accused Shannon of being messy and helping his guests spread lies and false narratives about big names in the industry. Well, Club Shay Shay is getting messier and messier. Uh, it's almost like Wendy Williams didn't go anywhere. She just got a weight set. Um, and so Monique was on. Every time I see Monique these days, she's on uh, doing some greasy video with her and her daddy complaining about something or working out. I don't know nobody that work out that much and gain weight unless every crunch you do has got capped in the front of it. But apparently she goes on Club Shay Shay and tells the story about how she came on my radio show and I wasn't there at the time. But while Kat's interview sparked the fire, Monique's interview lit the flame because she went after two of the biggest figures in black entertainment, Oprah and Tyler Perry. Monique has a bit of a history with Oprah and Tyler Perry and for the first time in years, she has her say and she spilled the true details of what really happened. For some background context, this beef goes back many years and Monique has been holding on to that grudge. And considering how Oprah and Tyler allegedly went over and beyond to ruin Monique's reputation and get her blackballed from the industry, chow, I would have held on to that grudge as well. And the crazy part is that Monique didn't do anything wrong to Tyler or Oprah because all she did was refuse to work for free when they would be making millions. I mean, honestly, who likes to work for free? Tyler and Oprah wanted Monique to do a promotional press tour for their movie be precious without pay. But Monique turned them down even though she was the main character in the movie. However, Oprah and Tyler were not used to hearing the word no from someone who worked for them and they were furious over this. Instead of either canceling the tour or paying Monique, they chose to blacklist her by spreading rumors about her being a diva who was
is difficult to work with. When big shots like Tyler Perry or Oprah give you a cold shoulder and label you as difficult, you better believe that things are about to get difficult indeed. Monique found this out the hard way because she turned into a pariah in Hollywood and every producer or casting director avoided her like she had the plague. Tyler, on the other hand, has always avoided the drama. Over the years, he has insisted that he had nothing to do with Monique's issues, that Monique's downfall was on her, and that he played no role in it. He has also tried to claim that she was trying to use him as a scapegoat for her own problem. This is a classic case of he said, she said, but Monique has never changed her story. For more than 10 years, she has continued to stick to what she said at the start, claiming that Tyler and Oprah played a major role in ruining her life. Monique hasn't held back on this topic, not one bit. She even spilled the tea on Shannon Sharp's club Shay Shay, accusing Tyler of blacklisting her and then lying straight to her face about it. Tyler Perry called us up, right? And he said, I can see the pain in you and I can hear it. And I wanna let you know that I, I, I would never do nothing to hurt you, but the conversation kept going on. Only for Tyler Perry to admit he did start a rumor that I was difficult to work with. He lied, only for Tyler Perry to admit. She also claimed that Tyler promised that he was going to fix the situation and get people off her back, but he never did. I was wrong, and when my movie Boo come out, she then dropped a bombshell claiming she had an audio recording of Tyler Perry admitting he started the rumor that got her blackballed. According to Monique, Tyler even confessed on tape that it wasn't fair of him to do so. Well, we sent you the audio mm -hmm. of Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to take me at my word. I want you to hear his words. And what did you hear that man saying? What did you hear that man saying? He said it. What did he say? Is that is Monique, you know you're not supposed to be recording people. No, 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 no. Let me back up. Okay. Everything we did was legal. And here's where a black woman really gets the kick in the ass. Had I not recorded Tyler Perry, then it would have been my word, word against his. Against his. And then on top of that, it would have been he's so powerful, we can't even pay no attention to that. Right. Well, now I have him on audio, which is legal to do mm -hmm. where we live. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have him on audio. And do you know what some people then said? Why would you record him? <laughs> Just like you sat there and said, you know what's illegal to do. But did you hear what the man said? I, I violated you. Yeah. I mistreated you. Yeah. That was a boss move because there was no denying that Tyler did Monique dirty at least not since he's on tape. For so many years, she's been called a liar, bitter, and so many other nasty things. So getting Tyler to confess on tape was a brilliant strategy. And before y'all start talking about how it's illegal to record someone without their knowledge or consent, Monique pointed out that recording him wasn't illegal where she's from. I mean, if Tyler had known he was being recorded, he probably would have never admitted to spreading those rumors and blacklisting her. Monique also revealed that Tyler's actions caused her and her family a lot of pain, revealing that she lost out on jobs worth about 10 million in total. Do you wow. know, Shannon, that's cost my family tens of millions of dollars? Yeah. Over a lie and a rumor? Is he gonna is he gonna make a he's gonna compensate you for that? I want you to look in your camera. Yes. And I want you to talk to Tyler Perry because you heard what that man said. Mm -hmm. So ask him, will he compensate my family for that? Tyler, will you come on Club Shay Shay and let's have a conversation about the fair compensation for what transpired between you and Monique? You can sit right here and she's sitting right here and you and I can have a conversation. And we'll do you one better. And give me five on that, baby. We'll do you one better, Shay. My husband and I'll sit right next to him. But it gets even worse. According to Monique, several industry folks were ready to stand up for her, defend her, and try to get her out of the blacklist. She revealed that some of them even reached out to Tyler on her behalf to try and smooth things over so he would get rid of the blacklist. But then the moment that they talked to Tyler, they straight up ghosted her and suddenly started acting like they never even met her. With this whole situation, and some of the people that Kat talked about, ironically, I have this issues with those same people. There were people that reached out to Tyler Perry on my behalf. Okay. And I was grateful for that. Okay. There was Al Sharpton, the Reverend Al Sharpton, civil rights leader. Yeah. I sent him that audio. He listened to it. He said, baby, what that man did to you was wrong and you're like my daughter. And we're going to have to get him to fix that. Right. We didn't hear from Al Sharpton for six months. 
The next time we saw Al Sharpton, he was on a podium talking about we don't need to fly commercial because we can fly Tyler Perry's private jet. Wow. I said, that's why maybe I'm not hearing back from him. Okay. Then we had our beautiful sister, Stephanie Mills. Yes. Okay. Who is, she don't play. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. I told her what happened, sent her the audio. Now, I don't know if she listened to that audio or not, but however, she called Tyler Perry. She said, Monique, Tyler Perry does not want to revisit this. Okay, fine. Right. While we're on the phone, Tyler Perry calls her back and says, I will meet with Monique, but not with her husband. Now, you ready for this? Yeah. And then Monique has to apologize publicly to say Oprah and I had nothing to do with messing up her career. So from the looks of it, he was turning That's her crazy. allies against her, which is kind of diabolical because it's not like she had many allies to start with. But he didn't stop there. He had the nerve to try to get her to apologize to him when he was the one who blackballed her in the first place. Girl, the audacity is unreal. Now, I'm not saying that Tyler is a completely bad guy because he has actually done a lot for the black community. He gives back to the community a lot, and he is one of the very few producers in Hollywood who actually pays black actors, especially black women, what they deserve. However, some fans are now speculating that he could be the one behind the attacks on Shannon Sharp's documentary. See, Monique's revelations on Club Shay Shay painted Tyler in a very bad light, especially after she released audio evidence of him admitting that he blackballed her and tried to ruin her career. Now, there's no evidence to prove that Tyler had anything to do with this because, like I said, he's known for uplifting black people, not tearing them down. But I'm not gonna lie, this is an interesting perspective. Fans commented, the industry hates when it can't control keep pushing these people are so sick that's the problem the celebrities that have a problem do not i repeat do not want those stories discussed unfolded or told and it's sad to hear this but the behavior of these celebrities validates everything cat said during the podcast child this is a lot but do y'all believe shannon's claims about how he has dirt on these celebs drop your thoughts in the comments then man that's what it is shannon sharp gave monique and cat williams a platform for them to speak their truths. And like Tyler Perry and, and the Monique situation, Monique dropped the, the proof is in the pudding. Why would Tyler Perry agree that he was wrong for treating Monique a certain way and saying that he would meet with her and now trying to blackball the Shay Shay podcast? It sounds like guilt, bro. It sounds like stone cold guilt to me. And it was a good thing that Monique got that audio recording and kept it and waited for her time to come to speak her truth and the thing that that happened to her about by, by just not agreeing to work for free for Tyler Perry and Oprah. She just she just said she won't go work for free. I think it was like a promo tour or something they had wanted her to go on, and she was like, nah, you're gonna compensate me for that. And they, they were like, nah, we're not going to compensate you for that. So now nah, she's feeling a certain way. She said that that situation caused her and her family tens of millions of dollars, bro. Tens of millions of dollars. That's a lot of money. A whole lot of money. So by Tyler Perry not fixing the situation and not rectifying the things that Monique's been saying, he's looking guilty. He is looking guilty. And I've heard a lot of different stories about Tyler. Not saying he don't do nothing for the black community at all. I heard he was a different person when the kind of working with him and working for him. Black, white, Latino, any, forget the, the color or creed or the ethnic background. They say Tyler is a, is a difficult person to work for. And he's controlling. And he has the money and he has the power. So now he's trying to bring the power and the money and, and, you know, kind of get uh, the Club Shay Shay podcast, you know, with some, and some, and some little allegations and some things maybe, you know, like because Monique put him on blast on them. That's crazy. That is crazy. But you guys comment down below and let me know what y'all think about the situation. I think it is totally absurd. Tyler need to rectify the situation and make things right with Monique, period.